Breaking news right now. We're learning Sears will get one more day to be rescued from bankruptcy and save about 50,000 jobs. CBS 2's Megan Hickey joins us live from Hoffman Estates, where the embattled retailer is headquarters. And Megan, many employees and customers are in shock. Right, Erica, many thought liquidation was inevitable, but we're now learning that the 126 year old company may have one lifeline left. A bankruptcy judge in New York is reportedly giving billionaire investor and Sears chairman Eddie Lampert another chance to buy the retailer out of bankruptcy. The $4.4 billion offer is contingent upon Lampert's hedge fund making a $120 million deposit by 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Sears filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in October. For the iconic retailer's employees and customers, it's been a roller coaster ride of emotions. I'm happy about it. <laughs> yes. Right, cool. They said they're not going to close. Hopefully they don't close. A lot of people, they need to work. When I first came to Chicago from Mississippi, Sears was my favorite shopping store. Yeah, down in uh, the west side. Yeah. So you're hoping they'll stay open for a yes, long time? Yes, yes, ma'am. John Olbrich, chairman of the National Association of Retired Sears Employees, tells me this is a stressful time for current and even former Sears associates who are watching this decision closely. If Sears liquidates, they would keep their pensions but lose their life insurance. Olbrich says it's still unclear if Lampert's plan will rescue Sears. We're at the 11th hour right now, and whether or not he'll, he'll be able to... Uh, you know, save the company is quite frankly anybody's guess at this point. Now, Obers tells me they'll be looking to see if tomorrow's deadline is met. The next deadline is an auction set for Monday. Live in Hoffman Estates, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.